Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're taking a look at a Steel 028 AV Super Wood Boss. We need, this song needs a couple little things. Um, today we're just mostly gonna be focusing on how to replace that gas line. So I'm gonna kind of walk you guys through replacing the gas line on this unit. Um, possibly in another video, we will be uh, cleaning the carburetor and then we'll also just be putting a new carburetor on. So, I'm not sure yet on cleaning it. I've already cleaned the carb on this. It had a ton of junk in there, rust. It doesn't work well. So I'm contemplating if I want to go through those steps with you guys or not, or just the process of putting a whole new one on. So give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and we'll see what happens. But uh, for today, let's get into uh, replacing that gas. Trouble's getting uh, OEM parts for this unit. So I will have Amazon links down below to uh, the gas lines, uh, carburetor, air filter, that kind of stuff that I was able to find and that I'm using. Also I have links to uh, the same or similar tools. Right now we're just using the scrunch. We gotta be able to get in here and uh, see what we're working with. This screwdriver with no hard edges, it's been sanded down and around so there's no sharp edges on it. And we're going to remove our gas line. Listen, before you get to this part, drain your gas tank. Make sure this guy's empty, okay? Um, and if it sits before you get to it, pop the cap before you undo that because if there's any pressure it's going to blast out of there in your face. So you're going to unhook the gas line right here from your carburetor. And this line has some small cracks and checking in it. Um, we wanted to make sure we just get a new line on it. Alleviate any problems for the future. You got this nifty tool, but you got something with a hook. It'll help you out as far as getting in here. Hooking that gas line and uh, getting your filter out. They just push the gas filter off the line. Should make life a little bit easier. I'm just gonna replace that guy. I just took my screwdriver. I know I did that happened so quick. There's a little rubber grommet on this gas line. All I did was push in on it and pull and pull it right out. So this is the gas line that's in here, and this seems a bit short. <laughs> I'm not sure if somebody else did some work on this unit at some time, or if this, or if this line is you know OEM. It it seems extremely short. Here's my replacement line. Kicker is too is when this was in. The tank and the filter on it didn't even reach the bottom of the tank or the side all the way so that means you couldn't even run this tank dry with this gas line so I'm not really sure if anybody's worked on these let me know is this was this an OEM line don't get me wrong I could jump on and look it up on steel but just curious a little conversation seems a little a little weird now this one is a little bit different honestly when you order offline sometimes you get mix and match parts. I ordered the uh, 028 AV gas line, right? And on the packaging, it said 032 and 034 AV gas line. So, I think it'll work, but we'll kind of see. Something though that I am gonna probably have to do is clean this up. You could see a little bit of extra, like flashing from the rubber here. Just around where it's got a seat in. Let's just see if this will fit the hole here. Alright, that will. So I'm going to take a little bit of white lithium grease though. And go right around this spot. Just very, very lightly. And then uh, we'll get this guy back in place. So the hole we got to put this thing in through. Is right here. And it's going to go in just like this. The J down. 
This is also where that rounded over screwdriver comes in handy because if we have to force it in place, we can. Hopefully we don't rip it. Now, if you were to remove your carburetor, you're gonna have a lot more room to work. We may end up having to do that anyway, so we'll see. I wanna see if I can just fish it in here for now and leave that carburetor in place. It's already in. Boom. Easy peasy. <clears throat> so right now I'm going to bend it back. Hook it up to my carburetor. That part of the job is done. Grab my little hook. Fish out this line, new filter. looking down in the tank see the filter is all the way on that back wall in the far back corner so when you're cutting in the saw sideways you're getting the gas from there that's how it should be before the end of the filter was where the top of the filter is now if that so it wasn't even getting all the gas out of the tank when the customer brought it in I drained about a quarter of a tank of gas maybe a little bit less because well, you probably couldn't run it due to the line not reaching. Plus that line doesn't look right. There's a couple cracks in it and stuff, but the saw, if it didn't need a uh, carburetor work, would uh, be all set to go. If you guys use this video to replace the line in your Steel 028 AV Wood Boss, then uh, leave me a comment, let me know. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Stay tuned, we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna pull the carburetor off We'll walk you guys through how to clean that and uh, show you guys a replacement carburetor that I'll be putting on this unit. Appreciate you guys watching and uh, check out some videos popping up.